All right, guys, uh, it's time for another movie-related video. Um, I will have probably a review of the uh, Pacquiao-Mayweather fight, which I will be watching this evening. Probably going to do a video on that. Um, but I'm going to have to talk about uh, this. I, I could have mentioned this in my Avengers video if I wanted to, but I figured I'd say it for another video. The trailers. Trailers before uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. So, um, from what I remember anyway, there was five trailers. Yeah, I had to do this from memory. Every theater is different in what they show before the movie. Um, so, you know, in no particular order, um, you had the Batman vs. Superman trailer, which we already discussed here. Um, I guess I could add a little bit extra. Um, there's, you know, I was listening for comments among people. And no little interesting murmurs from other people, you know. It's always good to get, you know, a gist of what people are thinking. Only thing that I could make out in the crowd was somebody said that uh, Batman doesn't, uh, Ben Affleck doesn't look good in his suit. Looks like he's on steroids. I don't really think that's an intelligent comment. Um, you know, Batman's supposed to be muscular. <laughs> His fucking suit. And I think Ben Affleck looks fine. I'm not concerned about how Ben Affleck looks as Batman. That's fine. Ben Affleck's a handsome man. Okay? Uh, so, you know, Bruce Wayne's supposed to be handsome. And yeah, I mean, uh, they could get away with him uh, being, you know, looking like Bruce Wayne. The only thing I'm concerned about is the acting. As I said in my Avengers review, I love the Man of Steel. Zack Snyder is a promising director. What he did for Superman, I hope he does it in this movie too. I am not worried at all about um, uh, uh, um, Henry Cavill as Superman. He does a fine job. Uh, he's not Christopher Reeve, but then again, who is? Um, and we're not looking for another Christopher Reeve um, imitation. Brandon Ralph, I'm looking at you. You know that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to this and that fucking suit, that robo tank voice, you know. It's kind of cool, I guess. Um, can't really tell much about what the movie's going to be, um, but it looks cool. And I love that shot with the Superman statue with False God. It's a real nice image right there. Uh, so, you know cinematography right there, um, imagery, it already gets a nice plus. Now whether or not it's a four star movie, we'll have to see about that. Jurassic World, we reviewed this in, uh, already, um, the trailer or, you know, reacted to it, whatever the hell you want to call it, I don't know, review, react, the same thing, same prefix. Um, I'm looking forward to this movie. Chris Pratt says it's very important in being a fan of the first Jurassic Park movie that he wants to get that series back to the greatness it had for the first film. Now, I'm a fan of the third film as well. It's not amazing, but it sure as hell is a lot better than Lost World. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, I want to see what this genetically altered dinosaur looks like, uh, created, whatever the hell it is. Um, I, the original T-Rex is back, so, you know, fuck yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this, uh, and I'm hoping that it is the best sequel. Now, I'm going to be realistic, I'm not expecting this to capture the magic of the first Jurassic Park, because also in our minds, especially people my age, you know, we're going to have that childhood memory of that being our first uh, experience in the Jurassic Park world. The first time we saw the animatronics, the beautiful um, original at that time CGI. It's still some of the best CGI. It looks ten times better than this, uh, a lot of the CGI they use in movies. I, I think that Jurassic Park looks fucking ten times better than a movie like Avatar. I'm just going to say that right now. I'm just going to be perfectly honest. I prefer the CGI in that movie to what we saw in Avatar, and fucking Jurassic Park is 93, 94, um, 
I just uh, I love the style and design of that movie. Um, it is just visually pleasing in every respect. Pixels. This movie looks fucking awful. Is there anything that Adam Sandler and Kevin James touch that won't turn to shit? I will never understand. Never. How Adam Sandler got to the uh, the cinema popularity that he has received. Now, the man was great on SNL. He's a comedic genius. But the comedic genius does not lend itself so well to fucking uh, movies. I'm just going to say that right now. The cinema is fucking awful. Now, I had a lot of memories as, you know, a kid of enjoying films such as Billy Madison, um, Happy Gilmore, even Waterboy. That was a much different time. 27 years old now. And, uh, those movies were dated. Um, not so much, you know, based on time period, but the time period in my life. I don't find that shit funny anymore. I find it quite stupid, dumb, retarded. Now, I'm not saying that they still can't get a chuckle out of me every now and then. I mean, uh, you know, Billy Madison, uh, seeing an imaginary penguin is still funny to this day, up to a point. Um, you look at those movies as a whole, and they're pretty fucking cookie cutter. They're nothing, there's nothing really uh, great or cohesive about that movie. There's nothing um, that really... Uh, you no, know, it's not really charming in any way. It's kind of like really just you kind of feel kind of filthy watching them. It's not like that good, wholesome comedy. Um, you know, I'm not saying that it has to be wholesome action, but I'm saying like movies like Super Bad, Forty Year Old Virgin. Um, you know, I'm gonna delve into an older movie that's closer to the time of that one, Billy Madison or something like that. But I'll say like Uncle Buck. Um. Home Alone, a, a John Hughes film, something like that. Uh, th those movies are classics because they go about it in a different way. Um, now you could say that their approach is formulaic of some sorts, uh, but you know, uh, it still delivers on the laughs and they're satisfying films. You watch Billy Madison, and, but the conclusion, you're not really sympathizing with the character. You're not really rooting for him. You're kind of just laughing at what a fucking moron he is. Uh, it's not like the Pink Panther series where um, Inspector Clouseau is a complete idiot. I'm talking about the Peter Sellers films, not the uh, fucking Steve Martin uh, fucking clusterfucks right there. Uh, so yeah, you root for that character. You want him to succeed. He might be a bumbling idiot. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, that's you know, a great character. And we're talking about something completely different. Um, a whole different, completely different style of film and everything. But th my point is this. Is that uh, Adam Sandler is a fucking overrated actor. Uh, and his films, really, you look at it and no critic ever really gave them a good review. I'm, I'm, I'm always the one to say, don't listen to the critics. A lot of them are fucking paid off. Look at the Avengers, the high ratings that it got. Uh, for, from some critics, and to say some of the praise they got, like Rolling Stone magazine, those motherfuckers are paid off for fucking sure. Um, so yeah, this movie is, you know, it's about video games uh, coming to life. And it doesn't go about it, the same, a movie about video games, it was uh, perfect in Wreck-It Ralph. They approached the video game with uh, great finesse in that one. But that was, once again, a completely different approach. Way different. This, they're just shoving some humans into the video game world with very generic reactions. At least it seems that way from the trailer, but, you know. Uh, the only thing really memorable about this trailer is what people reacted to the most was the career of Pac Man getting his hand chomped by um, his own creation. Uh, that's about it. Everything else really didn't get any laughs. Didn't really entertained so uh, yeah there you go so if there's really no laughs in a, in a trailer like this that's a comedy it's not gonna really bode too well for it so I'm not looking forward to that one tomorrow man with George Clooney um, 
No Clooney. He's been in films, but he really hasn't been in the spotlight like he used to. I guess it's because he's getting older and shit like that. Um, I don't know. In the beginning, this movie almost struck me as Inspector Gadget of some sorts, and I thought the girl running into his house was Penny. And I don't know why the girl's even going into his house. If she ran into my house, I'd be like, the fuck you doing in my house? I don't know who invited her or shit like that. Um, I see this movie's going for visual splendor. But why do I feel like there's not going to be a whole lot of substance here? It's sort of like a Willy Wonka fucking Inspector Gadget fucking inventor thing. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I was really getting a Willy Wonka vibe from this. and I don't really feel too confident in the way how it looks. Didn't really, um, you know, bring out a lot of excitement in me. Uh, last movie, Ant Man. I was like begging for them not to come out with this film, but they're going to do it anyway. And uh, you know, I don't really see why Ant Man needs to have his own movie. And it just it looks kind of lame. It really does. I, I'm not going to lie. It's like it's just like one of those superheroes that. No matter what they do, it's not going to be cool. Like Aquaman, you know, it's just... It's just a hero that that I've never heard one fucking person say that Ant-Man is favorite. Uh, I mean, I've heard some people say Green Lantern, which had me scratching my head, but... Those people are a whole different story entirely, but... Ant-Man, I can safely say, I don't know a single fucking soul who has that hero as his favorite. Um, and it's not to say that the, that the movie doesn't look good, but, um, oh, Jesus Christ, shut up. Anyway, just to get, just to get through this fucking video before these fucking dogs go fucking mad, just gotta say that this Ant-Man uh, movie, I just don't see it delivering as an exciting fucking film. It's a guy... That gets little. It's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but in superhero form. Um, yeah, I don't want to really knock it, but I have no choice but to do so. Just, I don't really see it being a fucking classic or really all that entertaining. It's just, it's kind of lame. And you can even see the hero says, uh, he even says it himself, he's like, Who are you? Ant-Man. Um, uh, it's not my idea. And you can even tell that Ant-Man is even embarrassed to be himself. So, there you go. If the hero doesn't even have confidence in himself, then why should we? Anyway, folks, these are the trailers that were shown prior to the Avengers. These are my thoughts on some of the upcoming movies this year, and, and uh, well, in the case of Batman vs. Superman next year. Uh, yeah, there you go. So anyway, those are my thoughts, and as the movies get released, or if I end up seeing any of these, uh, yeah, we're going to do some reviews and discussions. All right.